We are recording. So, shall I intro it? Like, shall I? So while Michael is setting up the Skoda in New Zealand, um, I just want to let you know that we're both going to do the same stage, and we're going to kind of talk about it, our feel for what's the wheel feel like, what the pedals feel like, how's the whole rig feel, and talk about the game too, because of course this game just came out, so you guys are going to want to know what it's like. But before we start, there's something really important that uh, Mike has to do before he does his... Of course. Uh, yeah. Sure. So, all right, I'm going to be behind the camera and uh, laugh a lot. So this is Dirt Rally 2.0. Um, I We've got early access through the deluxe edition right now. And I have to admit, I, I've got to agree with a bunch of people that say this is probably the best rally game they've ever played. Um, we're not obviously paid by Codemasters at all. I purchased this game myself, and I'm in love. And you played lots of lots of rally games over the years? Yes, Dirt Rally. I Ever since Dirt 1, I've played the Dirt series. So the fact that Dirt Rally 2.0 is now out, it's it's something really special. You can tell that they love rally games and they wanted to bring that to light and let people experience the closest thing you can to rally without killing yourself in injury. So we're using the Fanatec e-brake here. So we're gonna pull that back. We're using the sequential shifter as well. Like right off the bat, the Skoda, it just, oh, it's got so much power to it. And you've got a great start with virtually no wheel spin. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Um, one of the most interesting things about all the cars I feel like that I've experienced in Dirt Rally 2.0 so far is they kind of feel like they're on the same team as you now. They're not competing against your time. Their, their goal is to also finish the stage. <laughs> So you'll be doing stuff and you can really feel, especially with this rig, you can definitely feel the car kind of working in your favor and trying to keep keep traction and kind of dig in with the back tires. Um, there is stage degradation in this game. So depending on where you're starting, if you're starting like 14th, 15th, like there's gonna be ruts in the stage and you'll feel that the car will hit that and it'll just go do its own thing. It'll dig into that rut, jerk you off the track. So there's a lot more that you have to keep in mind while you're going through this. They completely redid all of the environments. Like, this game is beautiful to look at, which is interesting because, I mean, Dirt Rally 1 was pretty, but it was it was a sim game the same way that, like, Microsoft Flight Sim is a sim game. The simulation is the forefront, not the graphics, and they definitely didn't skimp this time. I've never talked this much while playing this game before. So, like we said earlier, I'm running Hawks Bay, New Zealand, and I just ran off the thing. <laughs> Get back up into gear here. This Fanatec sequential shifter is, oh, it's definitely the next, the next thing I want on my rig at home. Anthony's got one of those dream rigs that you're like, oh, it'd be so cool if I had all of this stuff. And then you come over and hang out with him and, well, what do you know? It's all right here. Whoa, jeez. Oh, <laughs> I just ran over a grate and I felt it. <laughs> and to talk about the gear for a second, this Fanatec wheel base, other wheels, I've got a G920. And I've used the G27 before. I've used a Momo wheel. I've used a Thrustmaster wheel just a little bit. And the other wheels, they really, they really focus on vibration to give you information in the game. And the Fanatec wheelbase is completely different. It's actual like forces of the car that's giving you the information instead of just the wheel vibrating to tell you that something's happening. You know exactly what's happening. The only thing this is missing is the wheelbase to kick back whenever you uh, accelerate. 
if the seat and everything were to raise up when you accelerated, this would be, you might as well just have your own rally car. Oh. Yeah, looks like real sky. Uh, whenever you look at the replays, like there are times where you could definitely trick people. Cause I know I used to do this back in the day with Madden, long time ago. I would be playing Madden, have it running computer versus computer. My dad would walk in and be like, oh, I didn't know those teams were playing right now. And I loved, I loved that ability to trick my dad with a game on PS2 and him thinking that it was actual actual live content, so this game definitely achieves that with its replay system. The replays look incredible because they kick the lighting system up tenfold from what it is when you're in the stage. So do you feel any movement in the seat? Are you conscious of any... I'm not conscious of the seat right now, Anthony. <laughs> Oh, that felt so good. God, whenever you get sideways. <laughs> no! And of course, of course. I'm going up to the finish line, and then I'm gonna get freaking stuck. Come on. Oh, for anyone that plays a rally game, that's just how it goes. So there we go. That stage was tough, but it felt fast. Now, when you went over the grate, I could see your hands shaking on the wheel. Like it, it shook your- hands. My thighs shook. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Like, I felt that in my toes when I hit that thing. Right. So there we go, 18th place. Not bad. Five minutes and 20 seconds is the time to beat, Anthony. Okay. All right. Oh, look at a little GoPro hanging down there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's... Here, I'll show you this really quick. Um... Opens. Oh, that's beautiful, dude. So... This is only the physical I, th I think this is the setting where it's only the physical cameras on the car oh, that's great. so it's the GoPro that you were looking at yeah. Wow. yeah it's just all the GoPros on the car it'll switch to these panels you had some turns that just were amazing. yeah and then of course my favorite is trackside. Yeah. I mean, what better way to show off a gorgeous game like this than uh, being able to see it as if you were there. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if we can hear the music. And another thing, is there a mute? There's a mute. Um, we also, sitting right over there, is actually a butt kicker. Um, so next time, uh, hopefully you join us, we'll have the butt kicker mount hooked up, which is a, uh, takes the low frequency sounds and rumbles the seat um, to add another level of immersion. I just haven't got that hooked up yet. So next time. Oh gosh. Alright. Here you go. 520 is the time to beat, Anthony. Oh, I I just hope to get done with all four of the panels on the car. Oh, not all four tires? You're not you're not wishing that. No, 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 no. <laughs> no that's not that's too much to even ask for. <laughs> Oh, I love this car. 
Well, love it but abuse it. <laughs> on the track, on the... He doesn't love you. Mm -hmm. it, it's almost like you wear this seat, you don't sit in it. Yeah. It's just a motorsports hub. A motorsports hub. Oh, that's love to do that in real life. Hello, hello. So I just hit my back end there and flipped it all around. And just wanted to do it again to show you what I was talking about. Same turn that I did that exact same reaction on. Uh oh. Uh oh, Anthony. <laughs> I can't talk. Too much fun. Brain exploding. So I hope y'all enjoy watching Anthony <laughs> frantically steer as much as I do. It's the funniest thing. He's exhausted after stages because his elbows are basically locked out for the entire time. <laughs> One thing I'm trying to work on is being more um, graduated with my pedal, so I'm not like all the way on or all the way off. So to not pull it all the way off when I want to slow down, but gradually do it. Yeah, one thing I've noticed about four-wheel drive cars um, is it almost feels as if you're driving a jet ski. Mm, mm. you let off the gas, you lose all the ability to control the vehicle. Yeah. Getting that little bit of power just gives you that reassurance that the car is going in the right direction. Oh, it drifted there a little bit. Three right. Oh, that's that way. Being mildly dyslexic. It's another level of challenge to like left. Oh, that's this hand. <laughs> Maybe I'm dyslexic. I always mix oh, God. Right. Hey, I went over there. <laughs> Ability to feather the e-brake versus just hit a button and turn it all the way on or all the way off is really nice. I would definitely say if we are on the level of competing, it would be a competitive advantage. <laughs> Touche, yeah. Yeah. Veloce Isa or Veloce Primero had a physical e brake. Shout out to the Veloce Esports team, by the way. No! <laughs> we call that, what do we call it? Doing a lemming? 
Oh yeah, I'm doing the exact same issues that. Well done. I hope the tires yes. are okay. <laughs> what did you have? Five twenty. Yeah, That's pretty dang close, That's though. Really dang close. And yeah. You also got 18. Wow. Look at how close you were at 19th place. Wow. So it is 523.17 versus 523.18. Wow. So, um, final thoughts on the track racer seat and dirt rally? So, I'm going to mute this. I don't think about the seat at all when I'm racing. It it, it, it just disappears. Um, I've heard people talk about, oh, wiggle. Any, I don't notice any of that. I'm in a car seat driving a car. You know, the wheel I notice more compared to other wheels, but like it, it just, it's like all this just connects my brain to the game. You know, it does. I, I've got the vibration in the pedals. I feel it. I don't notice it during the game. Because it just feels like that's what the car should do. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, and the game is amazing. To The feel of the car, like when it's when you do something right, it feels right. When you mess up and fly off the track, you realize it. And talking doesn't help because we're talking over the calls a bit excuses <laughs> but um no it's it's that this is that's the third stage i've ever played uh in here and it it uh it's great i i think the feel of the track is a lot more nuanced mm -hmm. than in the other ones so um seat magic wheel great game great yeah i'm looking forward to doing it do, and we had a challenge to do some course at night with the lights off or oh, something. Yeah. yeah, we'll be doing that. Yeah. Um, there will probably be a clip uploaded at some point of us doing this. Yeah. Cool. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, we appreciate it. And if you have anything that you want to see, any, any part of this that you want us to dive into or a specific course, um, let us know. Put a note in the comments and we'd be, we'd be glad to, uh, to film that for you. So... Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the track. Cool. Wow, I love that car. It's amazing. Like, the yeah. first time I drove it, I just, like, it just clicked. I felt like it was like...